It's time for Inside the Patch with your Las Vegas Raiders. Here's Gnarly Charlie. Well, welcome back to Inside the Patch. I'm uh, Gnarly Claus here with Brian No. We are ESPN 1430 Valley local sports leader. And what is in store for the Raiders for Christmas? Now, now we have a bye, so we're playing BYE this week, and uh, we should do well against them. But Brian, what I want to I want to address with you is I've heard the rumor mill that Mark Davis wants John Gruden in his stocking under his tree back on the Raiders coaching staff. Any validity to this? Do you think that's possible? Is that a good move? Is this a bad move? What do you think? It's never going to happen. <laughs> okay. I wasn't quite sure <laughs> how you feel about it. You're saying, what are the chances? The chances are none. There is no way this will ever happen where John Gruden is the head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders or any NFL team ever. Oh, any, any. Any. You're saying any. Ever. It's wow. Not. Wow. Here's the deal. And hear me out. Okay. Do you think there there have been some rumors that the Washington Commanders might change their nickname? Again, there's a new ownership group, right? Yep. Like Do you think they're going to change it back to the Washington Redskins? No, no chance. They're never going to do that. It's over, it's done with. They're moving on. That's the way it is with John Gruden. So when his emails are exposed and there are right. some racist comments, there are some homophobic comments, right? That is nothing that the NFL wants to be associated with. And right. if John right. Gruden is a head coach again in the NFL, you know as well as I do, all of these talking heads and all of these shows are saying, well, hey. I guess the NFL doesn't care about they're okay with it. They're comments, okay with this homophobic comments. I guess they're cool with all of that. That's not where the NFL wants to be, and that's not how they want to be thought of. So, whether right or wrong, it's never going to happen again with John. Gruden. <laughs> so, to be you're completely fair here. You're saying a 100 percent never ever going to happen. 100% <laughs> never, ever, ever. Unless you think the Washington Commanders are going to revert back to the Washington Redskins next year, which is and never, Gruden. ever going to happen. Then and Gruden will be the, the coach only way again. You think Gruden's going to be back? Because <laughs> there was a Gruden coach on the, on the Redskins, his brother, Jay. That's who right. went to. Okay, so, so I, I see where you're coming from. Plus, you know, it's not like I don't think I don't think John was commenting all these. I think he's guilty of getting something funny, and I'm guilty of this. I'll never be president of the United States because I have forwarded inappropriate things. Right. I have said, "Oh, that's funny." You might think that's funny, and then, and and if, like I said, I will never be president. If anybody did a background check on me, uh, you know, but I'm not running for president because well, I know that's this. the thing. Oh, gnarly, we talked about. The Raiders player who got popped for a DUI. There have been yeah. a lot of people that have driven drunk and haven't been busted for it. It's right. a different situation when you're busted for it. And you might have forwarded some things that were inappropriate here and there. There are a lot of people that have. But you right. haven't been busted for it. And I can understand with Gruden, that's got to be the frustrating thing because he knows he's not the only one. But he was exposed for it. So he's right. in a different category. Then all these other people that might have forwarded or messaged inappropriate things on their own. It's unfortunate that he's the only guy. Listen, there might have been a lot of people speeding on the highway and Gruden's vehicle got pulled over. Well, the other people that were speeding, they didn't get busted. So they're not in the same category. Well, OK, in a weird way, it's like Gruden was was on a busy dinner table and he got knocked off. But then Gruden turned around and grabbed the tablecloth. He's not going down alone. He's about to pull a lot of people with him because they've gone to court. They've been trying to get it to where they don't go to court. They want a mediator. That's what the NFL wants. It's been denied. It's been denied. So, so what's going to happen next is, and this is the big point of the case, is that who released these? And then when Roger Goodell 
calls Mark Davis and says, hey, you got to get rid of him because more there's more out there. Well, how does he know that? I don't think there's a realistic card for him to play because the only thing he can do, he can drag others down with him, but that's right. not going to help his situation at all. It'd be like, I think this. you're right. Let's go back on the highway. Think about you and me. We're in separate cars. A, a bunch of our friends, we're all headed to wherever. We're going to Vegas. Right, 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 right. not drive around and just walk for miles and miles. But we're, we're driving to Vegas, okay? <laughs> I get pulled over. Let's say right. I'm the Gruden of the group. Right. And I'm thinking, man, this sucks. I'm the only one that got pulled over. Everybody was speeding. And, and I'm I the pass one right by you, and I don't get busted. Yeah, so let's say... Suspend reality for a second. Let's say yeah. I've got a radar gun in my car, okay. and I can prove that you, our other friends, some strangers, were speeding as well. I can right. drag you guys down with me. My ticket isn't going to be just ripped up and it no longer exists. It's not going to help right. me at all. It's the same thing with Gruden. He could drag others down and expose some emails. And you, you think I was the only one? Look at this one. That's not going to help him at all. And that's, that's where you're coming off with your he'll never coach again because no matter what, he's still guilty. And just because other people, like they say in, in driving, well, I was going in the flow of traffic. It doesn't matter. You're the one I pulled over. That's right. It doesn't even and matter. And everyone was wrong. Everyone yeah. was wrong. Hey, and listen, there are a lot of things, and I think Gruden, with his comments, I, I think that you should be given a second chance. You should be able right. to right your wrongs and you're enlightened and you're a better person going forward. I believe in all of those things. But there are some things you're just not going to come back from. And this is right. one of them. He is I, not I, I, going to be back because of everything that is connected to it and all that it entails. Unfortunately, the NFL would look like they don't care about inappropriate comments against right. people of color. Uh, homophobic, our uh, 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 gay people. Yeah, anything. Some yeah, people thought they things. were, you know, there. It was uh, like uh, anti-female. Like whether you think that or not, it was out there. The NFL is going to look like they don't care about any of that stuff. It's never going to happen again. He's so, so done. If if the NFL allows him back, and then all those other groups now have a fire against the NFL. It's now oh, okay. You're going to do that, then we're not going to watch. Or we're, we're going to now campaign against the NFL. They don't like women. They don't like, you know. Right. It's bad and, for business. You see some of the commercials that the NFL has. They want to be inclusive. They want everybody right. to feel like they have a seat at the table. Right. You belong here. Right. It's good for business. Right? So yeah. they don't want to give the impression that, Oh, people of color, you, you don't have a seat at the table. Oh, oh, gay people, you don't have a seat at the table. Because they look like they're down with comments right. like that if Gruden right. isn't rehired. It's not going to happen, you're, man. You're right. You're right. Wow. And, and so all the people can speculate all they want, but, but you make a very valid point because if the NFL says, okay, let him in, uh-uh. Nope. Nope. Yeah. It's not going to work. Not happening. All right. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take Gruden out from under the stocking and under the tree. <laughs> right. like, who, who right now is your long shot darling for the Super Bowl? Someone that maybe wasn't like, I thought the bills were going to be great this year. And I, I feel like they've lost a step and may be confidence or whatever. I mean, the dolphins, they're, they're hit or miss. I mean, yeah, they really win or they really lose. I think you the know? Dolphins have a legitimate chance because they've been banged up earlier in the season where you get your two starting corners back. There are a lot of games that Jalen Ramsey missed. Xavier Howard missed as well. Yeah, you get yeah. your corners back. You got Vic Fangio right there. They've played really good defense. So if they're blessed with better health, they're in the mix. They lost Jalen Phillips, one of their edge rushers. That hurts. Oh. Yeah, and their offensive line has been dinged up a decent amount. So I think they're a team that's in the mix. I think a team like Jacksonville, if they made a deep run in the playoffs, you'd be like, Jacksonville? Really? Right, right, right. We expected them to win their division, but they're beating the Chiefs and the heavy hitters. And 
That would be a surprise. And I think the NFC, look, man, some of these teams are going to sneak into the playoffs. I just think it's more of a top-heavy conference over there where Philly, the Niners, the Cowboys. Cowboys? They're, they're Cowboys are hit and miss. You know. Yeah. I don't see yeah. a team like the Vikings or, you know, the Packers if they sneak in there. Even the Lions. I got a lot of doubts about the Lions if they can weave their way through that gauntlet. I just don't see that. Well, and, and then the Saints, boy, they just sure have dropped off. The, like, And I'm a Derek Carr fan. I, I love him. He's a yeah. local Fresno guy. And, and But, man, I'm just like, it's just not there sometimes, you know? No. Yeah. It's – dude. Uh, Carr is a it's, weird guy. He's a bit like uh, – he's a souped-up Baker Mayfield, right? Yeah. A nice Where, one. He's a, he's a nice one. <laughs> he's a guy that can make a lot of plays, a lot of great throws, but he'll have two, maybe three mistakes in a game that'll kill you. And you're ending up losing a lot of those games. It's, you're just not going to get anywhere. Well, and how does Hill come in the court, the, the, you know, for the Saints and pick up 12 yards on a play that's dead? You, you know, it's like, yeah. what is he doing? I know. He is. I saw the stats of him as a wide receiver, him as a running back, him as a quarterback. Like, no one has those stats. No one has that many attempts, and and he's successful. Yeah, he, he's a he's a true football player, right? He's you know? like um, Cordell Stewart. Remember when he was with the Steelers yeah. early on, and his nickname was Slash because it was quarterback slash wide receiver slash running back. Right, that right. really is what Taysom Hill is. That's true. I mean. I, I'm surprised he's not playing middle linebacker too. You know, I'm surprised they don't <laughs> get it, have a few sets for him playing some D. You know, I'm like, I don't know if he still is, but he used to be on kickoff teams. All of them. No, he's on all. He makes some hits. I've seen yeah. him. He is all around football guy. <laughs> he's you fun. Know, I was like, it's fun to have a Swiss Army knife like that. You know, and you're like, what? he's he's playing slot receiver right now. He was just on the kickoff. That's yeah. He's all over. Well, the well, it's kind of okay, like Olympics or rodeo. You know, in rodeo, there's there's a different events. It's bareback, this bull riding model. But then there's all-around cowboy. And I think in the Olympics, too, you got your decathlon. It's like, this guy's doing 10 things, you know? It, 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 not everyone could do that. What do you think and, of and the steeplechase, by the way? I, I don't understand the water. Not the water, the water <laughs> one. <laughs> that and, and the one where you're on skis and you have a gun. It's like, I'm like, I'm like, they're like, hey, we need a sport we can win. You know, yeah. we're good shooters, and we like to, to cross country ski. That's I went to us. High school with a girl who is an Olympian in that sport. You don't want to marry someone like that because you make her <laughs> mad. She can catch you in the snow and shoot you. <laughs> She's gonna try easily to get somehow, some way, man. You are not safe. <laughs> You're not safe. Okay, another thing that's kind of. Been sniff around the Christmas tree. They made they made flag football a Olympic sport coming up, and now I've heard Tyreek Hill with some interest. Mahomes is thinking about it. Like, are we going to have our pro guys do it, or is there somebody that's not a tackle football player <laughs> that is the greatest flag football guy ever? And I do love seeing the overweight quarterback guys that play flag football, and they're good. Yeah. And that guy is clearly a couch sitter. You know, clearly. A husband didn't have the ability to play tackle, but man, is he a flagger, <laughs> you know? Well, I think a couple of things. I don't think there's any great outcome for that event. If you've got Mahomes and Tyreek Hill and all these big name NFL players, either they boat race everybody, right? Right. Which isn't great for entertainment value, or they lose in this crazy upset, and it makes you question, okay, this is some completely different version of football that it doesn't even seem legitimate. You know what I mean? So your options are boat race everybody, not great, or they lose, not great either. <laughs> and, and does flag football translate? I mean, does, does tackle football translate to a good flag football player? And, and yeah. then, then – yeah, can guys on the position like Tyree can, Hill? Now you're just yeah. trying to pull his flag. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> How do you practice? Like reaching a fan and trying to stop the fan? I mean, it's like, 
Well, that's so the fast. Thing, man. These are NFL, the best athletes playing that sport. I don't know who they're playing against. Are they playing like Germany's beer league flag football team? And they're trying to Probably. get Tyreek's flags? Oh, dude, it's – yeah. Well, and then I also know that breakdancing is going to be an Olympic sport, which – does Yugoslavia have a breakdance team? <laughs> Does Djibouti have a breakdance team? <laughs> you know, like how, how's that going to work? It's like cool runnings. Those are a couple of events that I would absolutely check out. Well, and my my favorite part about that is you, you have to have terminology and and just like okay in gymnastics you got to pull off of this. There's there's a list right. of things, and so in breakdancing there's got to be a and I don't even know the, like a. 780 head spin or right. you know do you, do you have a cardboard so someone has to have that terminology so someone to be the announcer has to be an old school break dancer you know electric boogaloo or whatever i don't know how that works and do they have their own boom box it's a giant with 48 these batteries in it i think what's funny is not knowing the intricacies of a lot of these olympic events where right. diving is a good example I just know yeah. that a lot of splash is bad. It's a bad. lot of splash is bad. Yeah. The commentators will be like, he didn't quite complete the rotation in that, I don't know, 540 twist. I don't know any of that. I know, no, I just know splash is bad. So I think it's funny with these newer events. What will be the universal language where I might not know everything, but that right there, that was bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that's not going to work well. Yeah. Well, and in diving too, all of a sudden there's two guys and they have to be in sync. It's hard to be in sync yourself. And now you got to time it perfect with your partner here. He cramps up. Your Olympics are shot, even though you were perfect. <laughs> you <know? laughs> Skateboarding, you fell down. Bad. Not, not good. good. I don't know anything no. about completing twists and rotations. I, I can't follow all that stuff. You fell down. That's bad. That's all I know. Ex X Games is all about. I'm like, I have no idea if that was good or bad. He seemed to land it. I think that's okay. That's good. You know, <laughs> I did. You're I on did. The I was hype in the uh, Winter Olympics. You fell down. It's bad. It's not good. Not what we're looking for. <laughs> I was watching a TikTok the other day. And this this girl is like, she's so upset about something. She goes, "Man, I did a I did a total 360," and I'm like, "That's you mean 180, but you right. don't know that. So you you're 360. You're back where you started. That's right." You did. That's right. You did. All the skateboarders are like, oh, my gosh, <laughs> again with this. Like, <laughs> My life did a total 360 yesterday. Yes, it's the exact same. It's, it's, nothing changed. <laughs> All right. Well, well, the Raiders can't lose this week. That's the good news. Um, right. Max is getting some time off. The next is we're, we've got a couple roster spots we're going to fill. And that's the other thing. Like, sometimes, I because I try to be optimistic. And I get excited about a player that some team said, we don't want him. We're mm. done. Yeah. And, you know, you know, and maybe they got something in the tank. I, I, I don't know. But we're getting some new players. And Antonio Pierce is, he's making, hold you accountable. Yeah. You know, so if you're going to come over here, you better, you better be trying. Yeah. I like that. I like that he is not this passive coach and I don't want to rock the bow and He'll make some hard decisions. I like that about him. Hey, look, man, they're going to get a couple of cast-offs. You're not the same player with every team. Right. A lot of it is fit, scheme, role. All kinds of stuff goes into that. So maybe some of these pickups that the Raiders make where you shrug your shoulders and say, that guy just fizzled out of whatever team. It might be different with the Raiders. It just depends on right. how they fit. Well, and, and plus, I think when you lose everything, and you're still not done. You get another shot. You get another chance. Sometimes people rise that occasion, you know. Yeah. Let's just hope I that would, they don't get popped driving drunk. But that's the yeah, first. yeah. They, they should probably make a sign. Um, just win, baby. Oh, and don't drink and drive uh, the night before a game, or maybe maybe not at all. Just not at all. You know. Wait till after the season. <laughs> when I used to go to the track, the horse races in San Francisco, Golden Gate. I went pro like Saturdays, probably the I went at six times in a year. Sebastian Janikowski was there every time, and I was like, Seabass is yeah. is there, you know, and he looked hammered sometimes. They had a game the next day, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, Seabass is hammered at the track. 
<laughs> that, that sounds like a believable story. I got to tell you, gnarly. That sounds yeah, very yeah. believable. And I'm like, I would think, I would think, like, you know, the season's what, 17 weeks, roughly, you know, maybe don't drink. Maybe just like take that off. Nope, I'm a kicker. I don't care. And, and it makes me think, how many times was he booting a 60 yarder, hammered, uh, hung over? No telling. I, everybody eats <laughs> up those stories. Every time I see a, a headline, ex NFL player admits, he was high right. during the whatever game or the whatever season. It seems like every NFL fan clicks on that story. Oh yeah, <laughs> and I gotta know. Yeah. Well, my my buddy played for the for the Padres, Brian Giles, and he said the pitchers were the worst alcoholics because they knew if they threw, they got th- three days rest. But every once in a while, they're hammered and they get called in for an inning and like, oh, oh no. no, yeah, oh no, <laughs> oh. You just threw it over the backstop. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> it's like, John, you're a reliever. We can call on you almost any game. You're not a starting pitcher, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah. It's that brown bag with a can in it. It's just not good. <laughs> not not good. All right, Brian, no, we have cleared up. And, and just to be sure. The chances of John Gruden being uh, the Raiders coach next year is zero. <laughs> <laughs> Not happening. Okay. Not happening. At so all. Don't your prop bet is never happening. Not happening. Never. Not happening. happening. No. Nope. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Now, if it does, you know I'm breaking out this footage. And oh, put yeah, it right you next to you. <laughs> you can make promos. You should. Uh, Hit up the uh, freezing cold everything. cakes guys and the whole thing, man. Oh, you know, I'm thinking about writing a song for you too this year. Let it know, let it know, <laughs> let it know. Because Brian knows. Brian, thanks again, man. Uh, we're going to take uh, the – so Raiders aren't going to lose this week. And so only good things can happen. Well, I can't say that anymore. Yeah. Because – there is alcohol, and there are idiots that don't take cabs. So let's be undefeated with DUIs. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. Zero, Zero in the let's... locked column with DUIs in the bye week. That's what we're looking forward to. So when we say the under, is it the under the influence is the problem? <laughs> if you take the under, it's like I thought I was taking under the influence. Ah oh, man, that's a sure bet for us. I always take the under the influence with the Raiders. Uh, all right we'll see you next week brian no i'm gnarly charlie it's inside the patch we'll be back with more inside the patch on 1430 espn your official home of the las vegas raiders